to Have I Got News For You. I'm Naga Monchetti. In the news this week, in Kyiv, President Zelensky faces one of his most intense battles of the campaign, as he and an opponent both seek the tactical advantage of higher ground. In Devon, as the cost of living crisis continues, word gets out that the local farm shop is offering 50 pence off camembert. Ooh. And in London, there's evidence that Philip Schofield enlisted some young friends to help him steal something from the set of this morning. <laughs> now, on Ian's team tonight... So, Ian, if your team takes an early lead, don't get too excited. You can still blow. On Paul's team tonight is a conservative... In other news, she has a four-year-old son. We begin with the bigger news stories of the week. Ian and Hugh, take us that the deadline yes. for submitting requested information to the COVID inquiry has passed. Clint and Boris Johnson have been arrested. No, so sorry, hang on. There's an alternative ending. Nothing's happened. And the reason he has... So if you have an inquiry, <laughs> it technically got to give over all the stuff. I think by the... Depending on when this airs... <laughs> <laughs> Prime Minister, he's only... It makes me think about WhatsApp messages between... Are you in a WhatsApp group with Boris Johnson? WhatsApp, Boris. Uh, it does make you think, doesn't it, with all these inquiries going on? What about Holly and Phil if they had to hand over their WhatsApp messages to the ITV inquiry? <laughs> he was dropped as an ambassador, yes. Yes, because he... <laughs> Bring this back on track. What has the Prime Minister had to say about this Covid inquiry going back and forth? A suggestion that Boris Johnson... 